We are officially in the last week of the regular season for large school high school football, and with the majority of our local teams already securing their playoff spots, there's still plenty on the line, especially for Beaumont United. Here we go from Stallworth Stadium, where if United can pull out a victory over Goose Creek Memorial, and with a little help, they can clinch the number two seed heading into the playoffs. If not, they'll also drop the T-Wolves back to four and face state-ranked Manville to open the playoffs. Open and drive for United. Bradley Thomas, where's my man? There he is, the pass, the slant, the catch by Chandler Rivers. Now watch him do work. Taking it down into the Patriots territory for a T-Wolves first down. Then it's Thomas, feeling it, firing it. Got them all. What a catch by Chandler Rivers in the end zone. That's good for six, extra point is good. United up seven, nothing. And they're back on the move. Thomas, time. Sir Zollicoffer, Sir Zollicoffer, real name, no gimmicks. That's good for a first, but United can't convert. And here come the Patriots, or so they thought. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The T-Wolves defense was so dominant in the first half that the Patriots had a total of negative seven yards on offense. Now, Thomas, the quick strike to Zollicoffer. He'll pick up a first, then, it's Jonathan Como on the handoff. Kick and scoot. He'll break to the outside. Then wham, just for good measure. But this is where things started going south for the T-Wolves. After Jonathan Martin gets picked off by Josiah Rice, starting a chain reaction going into the second half where the Patriots offense turned things around to go on to win this one, 24 to 14. The T-Wolves are officially the fourth seed and will face the fifth ranked Manville Mavericks next week in by district.